Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sam, again, and today I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas this year. I know Christmas was yesterday, but if you didn't see my Christmas uh, 2020 video, uh, hope you guys had a great Christmas and uh, happy holidays, happy new year. I was going to do this video yesterday, but uh, I was like, you know what, this is the first Christmas I've had off from work in a long time, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to relax today and just take it easy and show you guys what I got for Christmas. So I'm doing this now, and I'm gonna start off with so, sort of like the smaller stuff. Oh, I guess I could start off with what I got in my stocking. So usually every year my mom doesn't really uh, go too crazy with the stockings anymore, and I just dropped a couple Christmas cards. But uh, first thing she got me in my stocking was sparklers. Uh, this is for, um, fourth, for New Year's almost. I don't know why I said 4th of July, I guess, because I usually associate fireworks with 4th of July. Little Nerf uh, sports. Here it's a uh, football. This is, this is my stocking. This is like stocking stocking stuffers. She got me a little uh, Baby Yoda Pez suspenser, which I haven't had Pez in years, so it's gonna be really nice to have. Keep pulling it out. <laughs> I got more Pez here, so. Which she, I gotta say, my mom really did go all out this year for Christmas. So I also got. A fig pin. I actually got two fig pins because honestly, I think uh, well, the child or you know Grogu as they call him in the show now, and of uh, Mando or Din Djarin as he was called, as he's called. But uh, yeah, these are pretty awesome fig pins. I don't have any of these actually, and usually I'm a big pin collector. I'm a big pinhead, but I just uh, didn't get uh, any fig pins yet. So my mom got me some pretty cool ones. I love the metal look and chrome look to them. So let's keep going. And I think that might be it for my stocking. I also got some socks in my stocking, which for her you could call it. But you know, they were they're really nice socks. But I wore them yesterday, and because it was Christmas. And uh, I guess I could keep going with the other stuff. And I should say one thing: I actually do have another thing coming, but it's not going to come for two weeks. What happened was the biggest thing I was going to get I got this year was a new camera lens. And I thought it would be work with this camera, but unfortunately it doesn't. So my mom said she was going to return it, but you know, I said thank you and everything, but you know. So I'm getting a new lens and uh, like a different lens and she's going to return the other one, which I've, which she said she was sorry she messed it up. It was mostly my fault because I thought it could work, work on my camera. I guess I didn't look too deep into the details, but she still got me the one I wanted. So oh, I'll be coming in the next two weeks, but hey, you know. Now, next thing coming up is she got me actually a little Lego set. Uh, this is a, a Duel on Mustafar. This is actually a really cool set. I really like the look of it. I think this was actually, because I used to get a lot of Legos. I think the first Lego set I got was um, the phone going off. Holy shit, it's going off. Uh, but this is a cool little Lego set. It's got Anakin and Obi-Wan. Hold on. It's just a really neat set. I love the look of it. It looks just like Mustafar. Which is probably my favorite planet in Star Wars. I always liked the idea of a lava planet. Next thing up I got was a Funko Pop set. I haven't got a Funko in a while. But this is of uh, the Mandalorian and the Child. Healed. Uh, a Mando and the Child on a Bantha. This is for us from the first episode of Season 2. Which I really should review Mandalorian Season 2. Because I really loved it. And recently, and my phone's going off again. Okay, I think it stopped. Um, I just stopped there for a sec, but uh, this is a pretty cool looking pop. I love the look of it, all the other characters. I honestly think Mandalorian has helped me love Star Wars again. And not just that, I also Jedi Fallen Order because uh, that was one of my favorite games of last year. And overall, I think that. Now, next thing, in terms of clothes, um, I got this red flannel for my friend Matt. If you're watching this, Matt, thank you. And this shirt I got underneath is from my older brother, Richie. He was the one that got me the lightsaber. Um, this is of uh, Uzumaki by uh, Junji Ito. Uh, he is a horror uh, uh, manga writer, which I should show you the back if you can see it. Here's the back. You got the girl with the spiral if you can see it. She got so he got me that for um, Chris for Christmas the other day because he was like, hey, because um, I thought he wasn't gonna get me anything this year because he spent a lot of money on my birthday present. Next thing up I got was a, it's inside out because I wore it last night because it was Christmas, 
But uh, here you go. I'm gonna switch it. By the way, I didn't really do anything for Christmas this year, mostly because of 2020 being 2020 and the circumstances that's been happening this year with the pandemic. But it was a nice Christmas. I honestly it was probably the most quiet Christmas I think I've ever had. Because I usually travel on Christmas, but this year was much different, which was fine. You know, if any fam, if any family's watching us, I love you. I don't know why I kissed the camera there, but here's a nice little uh, Ralph uh, Ralph Lauren polo. I was trying to make sure, but this is a really nice little sweater. I wore it last night. It's really comfortable. Next thing up I got was a. Death Cab for Cutie. I haven't worn this yet. This is a, a Seattle, Washington, 1997 shirt. Really cool. And then my brother, the funny thing is with this next thing my brother got me, this is actually pretty funny circumstances. Uh, so the other night, I exchanged gifts with a friend, uh, my friend Matt. And we, well, me and him, like, he got me a bunch of stuff, and we exchanged gifts, and I got him this exact same shirt along with the giant Kirby plushie, but it's of Malicious Patrick from Spongebob, which was really funny. Oh, I love this shirt so much. I don't know why I love it so much, but it's just beautiful. Uh, just chunk, you know. You know, when you, you can make a meme here, like the old Malicious Patrick meme. Is that meme still alive, or did that die out? The next thing up I got, this was a few days prior, I got a mug from my friend Andrew. This is a Game Boy mug. Got that. He, I, I gave him a Donkin Rampa shirt, which reminds me, I do have to ship my my uh, friend uh, Sick of Beast shirts. I got it. There's, if she's watching this right now. Well, you're going to get them soon. Sorry, just this month was so crazy. But yeah, he got me this cool Game Boy mug. I haven't drank it out of it yet, which I probably should wash it before I do. But it, uh, it looks like a Game Boy. It changes like uh, temperatures, whether or not it gets cold or hot. That's a pretty cool little gift I got there. Um, so now we're gonna take a look through some of the video games. This year, I did go out today for you know some sh like day after holiday shopping, and uh, I don't have it on me right now. But I did get a Blu-ray, and that was the Indiana Jones uh, Collector's uh, Blu-ray edition. It was like 31 bucks wasn't bad, and I was like, you know what, I'll pick it up, because it's it's, it's something I've wanted for a long time on Blu-ray. I love the Indiana Jones movies. But, uh, yeah, I got that on Blu-ray today. I opened it up, so really nothing special. She'll there. It, it's a cool Blu-ray set, definitely. I'll have to talk about it, but next thing up is for my friend Matt. He got me some uh, pins. He got these off Etsy. They're from uh, Near Automata, and he knows that's one of my favorite video games of all time. Um, but, uh, what happened was, is he uh, he was going on Etsy. He's like, I couldn't find anything near it related on Etsy that wasn't porn because the main character Tubi is very lewd. But he got me some pretty wholesome looking pins. Uh, got my boy 9S, which he's one of my favorite characters to cosplay. Now, on to the video games. This year, I got mostly PS4 games and one other game for another system that I'm waiting to buy still. I'm going to explain that later, but the first game I got was Star Wars Squadrons. My mom got this for me, and I, it's open because I started playing it. This is a really fun game so far. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is uh, The graphics are gorgeous, and I'm playing this on my old PS4 because my PS4 Pro uh, basically uh, burned out. It's not really turning on anymore, and I'm just going to use my old PS4. It may sound like a jet engine that's about to take off, but it's like whatever. I got Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which this is a... I'm actually gonna probably be able to play the PS5 version when I get a PS5 because this actually comes with a free next-gen upgrade that I'm gonna use for when the PS... when I get a PS5 eventually, but... Next up is... I actually got this today because this was... When I was looking through the games I wanted to pick up, like, recently, I was just like... I don't know why. There just wasn't a whole lot of games I saw that were like, Oh, I gotta get that! But... These next two games I got were kind of games I wanted to get, but I wasn't, like, rushing out of my way to get, and that is Yakuza Like a Dragon, and I got, a, I got it at Best Buy, so they gave me a free steelbook. This, I've actually heard, is really damn good. And I'm not the biggest Yakuza fan. I like Yakuza, 
but I haven't played, like, all of the games. Like, I, I played a bit, like, a few hours of Yakuza 0, but this is pretty cool. It comes with a steelbook, and I also got a free uh, steelbook with it, which I thought this was going to be sold out, but, um, yesterday morning I decided to make an order of it, and I got it, and from what I've heard, it's really, really fun, so this is probably the best in the series. I heard Like a Dragon is the name of it in the uh, UK, in Japan, but really excited to finally play this, and here's the steelbook, which, does it have writing on the side? I don't know. Now, the last game I actually did, was going to get on PS4, but I was like, you know what, I... I want to get a PS5, and I might as well buy this game now so I don't have to risk it not getting it at release. But that is Spider-Man Miles Morales on PS5. This is the Ultimate Launch Edition. Shit, I got this off of uh, Best Buy today. I ordered it yesterday, and uh, I went to go pick it up today. And I actually, and it has like the order pickup on the sleeve. I'm gonna keep that there until I get the game. I'm gonna keep it sealed till I get a PS5 to play it on. The reason I didn't get it on PS4 was because this I didn't really want to play it on a PS4, like the PS4 version. It's getting kind of hard to find, so I was like, you know, I'll pick it up on PS5, and then when I get a PS5 eventually, I'll finally sit down and play this. So, Which, uh, unfortunately, the PS5 has been sold out pretty much everywhere for right now, so I'm going to have to wait to get the PS5, and that's okay. I'll at least I'll have time to play this, sit down and play this bad boy, so... Maybe I'll do an unboxing for it in the future, because I'm not going to open it until I get a PS5, which... I know that sounds weird, but I was like, eh, it's whatever. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with everything I got this year for Christmas. This was, uh, overall, I think, a really good Christmas. It was a great one. I do have another package coming. This is going to be my biggest present I order, and it's going to be coming, I believe, in like the next week. So maybe I'll do an unboxing for it. I don't know yet, but hey, well, it's, you know... It's, we'll see what happens, but anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you guys for watching throughout this year. I know 2020's been kind of a shit show, and a shit show, a shit show, right? And, and I just want to thank you guys for watching the watching these videos, you know, oh, and I want to thank, thank you all, and I hope you guys had a great Christmas, Hanukkah, or holiday, whatever you prefer. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I will be doing a new video maybe in the next week, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, I'll see you guys later.